What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Hope you're having a great weekend. Today we're actually going to be taking out the Mini Enduro MX650 out to some trails again. Uh, we're going out to West Virginia to my buddy's property, which is a little bit less rockier than the ATV trails that I took this at last time. So hopefully we'll be able to stretch its legs a little bit more and carry more speed. We're also going to be taking out the KLX with me so I can ride with my wife and my friend David. Uh, but before we go out there, I do want to go over some things with the setup and my last ride at the ATV park. Overall, the bike did really well. The IRC motocross tires had plenty of traction. The ground clearance, 11, 12 inches, was not an issue. I did not bottom out on anything. This Alter Ego fork made that ride bearable. I don't know how somebody could do trails like that with a stock spring fork. This bike is still running the 52 volt um, battery with the Vever motor brushless kit that I got from Amazon which is plenty of power, had enough torque to climb through all the hills that I had to go through. So not really looking to upgrade that. That's still with the stock or yeah, 11 tooth sprocket, which I was gonna change out to a nine tooth, but I don't think I have to. I think the speed and power is pretty well balanced. Uh, the brakes had plenty of modulation, but the rocky terrain, uh, definitely highlighted some of the weaknesses. So I'm gonna go over some of the changes that I'm thinking of making just to make this bike a little bit more capable for off-road riding. Please excuse all the dirt. This bike is still caked in mud. I haven't had time to clean it because I've been a little preoccupied with this project. But just to go over the main things that I wanna change on this bike. Um, my biggest concern that I need to address is this rear shock. It is garbage. The dampening is basically non-existent and the spring rate is way too high. I only installed this because this bike started as a budget off-road project, but then I got a little carried away with it. Uh, but we're definitely gonna be swapping that out with like a DNM air shock, 190 millimeter one. I don't think I need 200 millimeter because the ground clearance has not been an issue. I just need this thing to be a lot more comfortable when I'm going over bumps because that is not a real shock. The other thing I wanna address is the handlebar. Just the positioning of it makes things a little awkward. It makes it a little twitchy when I'm hitting bumps. And it's been recommended to me to remove these handlebar risers, which I kinda of didn't like the look of it anyway. So I'm gonna be swapping that out with the uh, stock ones. So that should lower the bar like an inch and a half, which should make it a little less twitchy. Another weak point on this bike that I can't really do anything about is the wheel and tire sizing for overall diameter. I already installed larger tires, which makes it easier to go over some bumps and rocks and whatever, but it's never gonna be as smooth as an 18, 21 inch setup on a full size dirt bike. Uh, this isn't a problem if you're just doing single track, sand, whatever. I guess I could put an extended swing arm and buy a whole new larger wheel set, but then that's just me getting carried away with this bike again. Uh, another thing I do wanna address is the turning radius issue I have with this fork. It's not too bad, but it is a little limiting. The triple tree just keeps banging up against the uh, this rubber stopper on the frame. So I might be able to modify that. We'll see. I just want to take this thing out and ride it again today just to get a better feel for it. Hey, hi. I was chasing you around. That's nice. That's new, right? Yeah, it's going to be my mom's kennel. Your mom's what? Kennel. It's going to be a big barn. Yeah. It's going to be a kennel.
Yeah, front end drop. <sighs> Smells like gas. See the triple tree? Yeah. It's all like shifted over. That's yeah. how bad I. It came. Uh, yeah, the riser. The riser is coming out of the triple tree. You yeah. See that? It was pretty bad. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a new riser that you need. Probably it's just bent really bad. Yeah. Squeeze it with your. You got it. Yep. That's <sighs> nah, fine. Dude, I washed so bad. Yeah, we were going a little hot boy. <laughs> With how much leaves there were? Uh, yeah, we were on third gear. <laughs> yeah. And then like we turned and we, we my bike just like easy. fucking went under me. Dude, yeah, that's, the leaves are just out of control. Yeah. Can you, can you ride it? Is, like, is it rideable? Oh yeah, I just have okay. to turn left to go straight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I dropped the shit out of my bike. I was having a little too much fun with the KLX today. And now that the adrenaline's worn off a little bit, my left shoulder is starting to hurt. Uh, so I am gonna take a little bit of a break from riding, maybe just like a week or two, so I can focus on finishing my projects. I am gonna change a few things on the Razor. It's pretty capable. I like it when it's a lot less rocky but I still hate that rear shock, so I'm gonna change that out. I already ordered a DNM rear shock for it, uh, so stay tuned if you wanna see that. I am also gonna continue working on the Yamaha, maybe fix the KLX, and I've got a new project coming up after that, so I've got plenty of things to do in the next week or two. So if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my projects, consider subscribing to my channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.